Hello and welcome back to Triple Tech and welcome to my review of HitFilm 3 Pro. Now I know HitFilm 4 is out now, but I'm still using HitFilm 3 Pro and I'm going to talk about why I still use uh, HitFilm 3 Pro. I'm going to go through the features that I like about it, some of the features that I don't like about it or features it's, it, uh, it doesn't have. I know some features are in HitFilm 4 and those I'll point out, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So I've been using HitFilm 3 Pro since pretty much it came out and I've fallen in love with the software. It's absolutely brilliant. It aims to be an all-in-one piece of software for visual effects and editing and HitFilm 4 is also a sound, something to do with sound as well, which is, it's nice to have such an all-inclusive um, piece of software that you don't have to worry about going between pieces of software and it's just, it makes the process of making your video a lot quicker because everything's in the same place. The editing on it is very intuitive, it's very easy to understand, it's one of the easiest pieces of software I think I've ever used and the easiest thing I've used to, to learn, it's absolutely, it's very easy to learn, it's, it's intuitive, it's very good. One thing that's annoying about the editing though is how, so, how, how laggy it is. The performance of the software isn't incredible. If you, if you compare it up against something like After Effects and Premiere Pro, then you can really tell the performance difference. But if you're not doing much in the way of visual effects, then you're not gonna um, really find it much of an issue. Something which I've had to do because of the lag sometimes is to proxy all of my composite shots. And that is, and that speeds everything up. Um, so once I'm done making those composite shots, I proxy them, and then once they're finished in the processor, then they're they're completed, and I can edit with them a lot easier. One thing which this software actually has over After Effects is that it has inbuilt support for 3D models. You can bring in 3D models, something like an OBJ or a 3DS um, format, and they work very well. One thing which is a bit annoying is that some texture formats, um, so the image formats that a lot of textures come in, they are not supported. And that's a bit annoying because when you import a model and they have no textures on them, it's because those those texture formats aren't supported. And that can really lower the number of different 3D models that you can use, which does bring the software down a little bit. So something like, so when you put Element 3D on after Effects that has a whole range of supported files and it's brilliant. Of course it's very expensive for that and you're talking of a pretty good price for an all-in-one piece of software and for it to can and for it to support 3D models that is absolutely fantastic really. You can even do motion graphics with this software quite easily. My new intro which you saw on this video I used this software to create that and it worked very well and if you have the skills and you have the time to learn different methods and stuff, then you really can make a good use out of the software and it's actually more close to the capabilities of After Effects than you might think. Probably the only other thing which I don't really like about this software is on the export menu. There aren't many types of files that you can export at. Uh, one thing that I wish it had is the ability to export ProRes and that would be absolutely fantastic, but it doesn't support that, which is annoying, really. One thing I love about the software is its ability for color grading and color correction. It has a whole range of tools for this and a whole bunch of presets for color grading. This is very good as it allows you to change the looks of all your videos and make, make all your different visual effects shots combine, you know, to, to c compose a very good looking piece, you know, color correct all the different aspects of it, put it together. Um, like this explosion, which I created in uh, one of my last short films. Overall, I just want to say that this software is such good value for money and extremely easy to learn. I think this is probably the best place to start, to be honest, uh, for something visual effects wise and editing wise. If you're looking for something to edit videos on, there is HitFilm 3 Express and HitFilm 4 Express, which are the two free versions of this software. Um, but you don't have uh, a lot of the visual effects side of things. You more you just sort of have the editor, really, which um, is absolutely fine if all you want to do is edit videos. And I think there's probably some color correction tools on there as well, so you can you can grade your uh, your the look of your video as well. 
So, but if you want more options, then you can't go wrong buying the software and really making good use of it. Because I have, I've used it for, a, I don't know, at least good, a good or a good year, probably more than that. I'm really enjoying it and I think I'll be using it a lot more. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, then do hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,